vandaag een uh, internationale gast. In zijn show ZDF Magazine Royaal mixt hij elke week politiek, onderzoek en satire. Hij wordt ook wel de Duitse Arjen Lubach genoemd. Ik heb geen idee waarom. Als ik een film naar Microsoft hoor, dan maakt mijn gehirn... Hoe dan ook, ik vind het fantastisch dat hij er is. Laat je horen voor Jan Beumerman. Hallo. Welkom. Hallo. Hi. Welkom. Welkom. Good evening. Ja, yeah, take a seat. What a great donderdagavond. Ja, <laughs> yeah, is het? Isn't oh, it? it's almost like I, I stepped through a portal in a parallel universe. Yeah. It's like, it's like exactly the same as my studio, except I, I can't understand anything. Your colleagues, <laughs> I, strange as well, if they had like seizures, like minor seizures, yes. and are not able to speak German anymore. We all had a tea uh, tonight, and that's how it sounds. And, yeah. and it's, it's such a great premise as your studio is on, the media park. Yeah, prachtig, yeah, right? So and <laughs> such a nice view from, from a, the big hill of, uh, of, over... The skyline of Hilversum. <laughs> yes, is isn't it? But nice. you're 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 lying a little bit because I yeah. know you speak a little Dutch. Yeah, a bit. I have kunstgeschiedenis studied and that is all. Yeah, that is good, toch? That goes hard to do. I have no kunstgeschiedenis studied. But I, I want to use the opportunity as a German entertainer on Dutch television to say sorry for what for. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> for everything. I have to apologize sincerely for everything we've done for the last 10 years, maybe 20 years, maybe 80, maybe, maybe 100 years. Little, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm sincerely sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I have to apologize for everything. Well, this is, this is unique. This is the first yeah. time a German yeah. on TV is apologizing yeah. for the past century. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah. Apology accepted. I've, was, I've, I've been to your show. Yeah, five years ago. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I've, I had the same kind of experience. I, we have a picture of that. Yeah. I, was, I was there. Uh, look at us. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so young. So what? innocent. Yeah. You also do very political comedy, right? Yes, I do political comedy. I have a desk piece and I have a stand-up, like, at the beginning of my show. Yeah. It's almost the same. That's funny. Yeah. How, how are the politics in Germany right now? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. German politics, always great. Fun politicians, f fun topics. Because in your country, uh, you have the AfD. Yes. It's a right-wing party. Started in Eastern Germany. Yeah, AfD means alternative for Germany, alternative for Germany. Yeah. What could the alternative possibly be? <laughs> yeah. We have like a liberal democracy. What could be the alternative? Mm. Maybe fascism? Why not? Let's try it again. Maybe the next time we'll win the war. <laughs> Why not? Do you keep up with the Dutch politics as well? Yeah. Um, I, Do you know I've anything heard, about our... Uh, Mark Rutte is gone now. He's yeah, now in charge well, of... Well, he's like... never gone. He's always there. <laughs> But and yeah. he will emerge back, like I think in Denmark, like uh, uh, um, no, in Brussels, leading the NATO. Yes. Yes. It probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Which is always great. Yeah. Because he's so he's he's a guy. Have you heard of our? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a guy. man. He's yeah. he's a white man, and it's always great to yes. have white men. We are, we also have a, a new guy in charge. He's the leader of the biggest party, and his name is Geert Wilders. Never and... heard of him. No. Never. <laughs> He actually has something very unique because hmm. he's, he's in a situation, he has a party with no members. And I, I believe that's illegal in Germany, that's right? That's illegal, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, because um, I don't know if you've heard it, um, like 80 years ago, mm -hmm. um, there were... How do you I mean, keep steering back to the Second World yeah, War? Yeah. I don't do anything. I'm okay. Uh, yeah, there were like some uh, historic, let, let's call it mishaps. Mm -hmm. And I, I wouldn't say we've learned from it on our own, but we were forced to learn. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, yeah, essentially it's illegal in Germany to, to have a party without uh, like members. And uh, if you want to have a seat in the parliament, you have to uh, go through like an election within your party first to get the seat. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's uh, you have to be like, uh, you have to, to, uh, to do a democratic election within parties. Otherwise yeah. it's, it's not legal. Yeah, the PVV doesn't have any dem democracy in it. It's just Is this one guy yeah. and, and uh, how does he come up with the people who want to, want to like... Uh, they all adore him. Okay. Yeah, they love him. Oh, and that's he a great has concept. a big ice cast where he can put all his stuff Just in. Just one guy yeah. on... So, so his concept is like one guy on top and everybody has to adore him? Yeah, that's mainly... That's exactly, exactly what it also is. Also, like the people, the people in the Netherlands also have to adore him? Uh, like... No, not yet, but he'll not probably yet? change the law when, okay. once he's prime minister. Do you have to adore him? 
Like as a public television TV host? No, no, no I can make fun of him. We're no. talking about politics right now, yeah. but oh my uh, God. You, you came in this morning yeah. and we yeah. had a bit of a quarrel about yeah. which country, well, maybe we could take a look because we were in disagreement. Because the country, Netherlands are way more to the right. I than, think than, your country is no, more no, no, to, you are no, way I, more wait, to the right than wait, we are. Wait, let, let's just take a look at this morning. Hey, Jan. Hey, Arjen. Hey, Hallo. Hallo. Ja, interessante reise. spannend. Spannend? Hoezo <laughs> spannend? Wel nu, is uw land niet rechtsradicaal geworden? Nou, dat valt wel mee. Het is niet zo erg als Nee, Duitsland. nee, nee. Je, je hoort toch die nazi's in de regering raden? Nazi's? Nou, en wie hebben de nazi's uitgevonden? De Oostenrijkers. Oh, ja. Maar, maar wil je me eens wirklich zeggen dat Duitsland rechter is als Holland of wat? Nou. De... <laughs> Ik vond Duitsland een mooi land, maar liefde duurt nooit lang. Want blijkbaar zoeken jullie alternatieven voor Duitsland. Het begon in het oosten, al snel volgde de rest. En pas op dat je ons niet besmet, het schuift op naar het westen. Jullie kregen Linda en Chantal en Rudy Karel. Wij in vervuilde Rijn en Bernard van Biestenveld. Meng de kleuren van de vlag, bij ons wordt het dan nog roze. Want bij jullie wordt het bruin, laat het verleden toch eens los, man. Fertig, ben ik eraan, ben je klaar voor Jan Böhmermann? De buurman uit Bremen, der aus dem Osten kam. Darf ik dich herinneren aan eure nationale? Hymne. Van Deutschen Blut singen ze und keine Nazis sein wollen sie. Nee, guck in den Spiegel, Mann. Fokus auf Niederlande. Auf euer Blondchen, euren Führern, seine Faschobande. Arjen, ihr müsst was machen, seid nicht länger still. Wir waren doch mal ein Land. Okay, Tirchen, ja, wir waren. Aus dem Weg, Schritt nach rechts, da bist du gut drin, ja, ja. Juli, auch die Kanzlerin hier ist der beste Fiend von Putin. Radikal en extreem, dat zijn gewoon de kale feiten. Aber rechts war doch immer eure Schokoladenseite. De avondshow is legendarisch, je grappen zijn hilarisch. Und uns beiden wird schon nichts passieren, wir sind ja arisch. Doch 30% für einen rechtsextremen Clown gibt's bei uns Moffen, außer im Osten wohl eher kaum. Uh -huh. Duitsland glijdt af, ja zo loopt dat. Wahnsinn. Daarom had Scholz toen ook die ooglap, die kon er niet aanzien. Rechts dan rechts, vriend, benoem gewoon man en paard. En kijk dan, Duitsland staat zelfs rechts op de kaart. Dan heb ik nog één vraag, waarom loopt er via Praag een gigantische spoorbaan van jullie naar Orbaan? Uh, ik fahr nur Autobahn, weil die is mir vertraut. Oké, okay, prima bij mijn man, maar wie heeft die autobahn gebouwd? Wir! En du fährst immer rechts, maar weißt du wer links fährt? Wir Deutschen, weil wir darauf hören, was uns unsere Geschichte lehrt. Wenn es um rechts sein geht, spielt ihr plötzlich Champions League. Und ihr fresst Faschusnacks wie Nazis Reif, Potatschi Krieg und so. Het maakt niet uit, man. Het is hier geen Duitsland. Nach eurem Vorbild, Niederlande wie de Hitzler. Onze rechtse plannen staan in de koelkast in Kalte. Ja, na klar, was man liebt, möchte man so lang wie möglich festhalten. Aber Jan, weißt du, wo het nog viele malen erger is? Italië, Amerika, Oostenrijk en Portugal. Dan moeten ze toch nog stemmen? Ja, maar het is dit weekend al. We zijn nog knijter links in vergelijking tot Rusland. Met man zo ziet, dan stel me dat wel gerust, man. Ze gaan weiter nog, weiter nog, weiter nog. In Deutschland und den Niederlanden ist eigentlich alles okay. Ich hab all die Texte auch gehört, it's not a brush yet today. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Der Elkoms van der Battle was doch ehrlich all bekannt, man. Wieso? Was bedoel je? Zwei Menschen mit dem Make and heute endlich wind Deutschland. Okay. So, so you think you won the battle, right? Um, yeah, we will see in the end who won. Yeah, I, I hope none of us wins and we will like go back to the middle again, yeah. maybe. We all glorify yeah. as one proud nation. No, okay, never mind. Okay. Uh, Jan Bremerman, dames and gentlemen, give him a big applause. Oh, you do, man. I'm so sorry. I sincerely apologize. I'm so sorry for everything. It is okay. Kijk vanaf vrijdag voor een compilatie van de hoogtepunten van deze week op NPR Start. Jullie allemaal bedankt voor het komen. Jullie bedankt voor het kijken. Dit was de avond op naar de maandag. Doei! Als je moest kiezen of abonneren op dit kanaal of naar NPR Start gaan en de hele aflevering terugkijken, wat zou je dan doen? Ik wacht wel.